Thursday, 12.21 p.m., Kunigigalga Mountains. Irona, I panted as I tried to chase after my white-haired classmate. After his little introduction in class, Wait up! Why are you following me? He stopped just to glare. Your partner, are you sure you can trust him? I stop as well and put my hands to my knees, trying to catch my breath. To the looks of it, he doesn't seem like someone you should be with. Shiro was there when people wouldn't even look at me. I could feel his glare intensify. He treats you like an experiment, I countered, finally fixing my composure. Shut up, who are you to talk like that? I'm Wyan Allen, and I'm trying to be your friend. My facial expression softened, and I stuck out my hand for him. Will you let me? I fidgeted my legs. Whatever. He slapped my hand. I sighed. I'll just have to wait. Monday, 11.47 a.m. Kunigigaga Junior High. Two months later. Why do you keep annoying me? He poked me with one of his tentacles. Because we're friends. He kept poking me while I was sitting in front of him, vice versa. And besides, you're doing the same to me. Stop poking me. I never agree to anything. He sighed. But I consider you as a friend even if you don't. Plus, you didn't even disagree. I pouted. Why and Ellen, you are annoying. I keep pushing you away and yet you still come back and ruin my mood. I think even without me here, your mood is going to be bad anyways. He drew an irk mark and pushed me down the hill where I landed with a huge splash in the E-class pool. What was that for? He looked at me and walked away, but there was something I saw. A smile. Oh, that made my day, even if I'm all soaking wet. Oi, don't leave me here. Wednesday, 7.47 p.m. Underwear Thief Victims Residency Idona, my classmates and I screamed as he attacked Korosensei inside the cloth cage. Easier to confine him first than strike. My head snapped towards Shiro, Idona's so-called partner. I learned that from your tactics and class strategies. Why in Ellen? That's our kill, Tarasika argued. Why are you playing dirty? It's called being an adult. What Ichina has in his tentacles are gloves with sharp edges made of anti-sensei materials. Every time he gets hit, he gets damaged. Easy as that. It will finish your teacher's life completely. This will test my strength. Ichina was going to strike the last blow, but a bright light came from the cage, and the next thing I knew, Ichina was in sensei's arms. Ichina! I ran to him and cupped his face in my hand. Are you okay? Can you hear me? Gah! Etona started holding his head and screamed in pain. Ah, uh, it hurts. My head is killing me. Etona. With a shock of his repeated defeats, his tentacles are finally eating his mind. Shiro sighed and crossed his arms. This is all he can take? Can't even pull off a simple scheme? Stop this. I tried to turn at him, but Koro Sensei held me back. You're torturing him. Stop it. I began to cry and kept fighting my way to attack him. Stay out of this, nuisance. Itune yelled. Y you don't know me, so stay out of this. Realization struck me. What do I know of Itune Harib? His name? Check. <laughs> Love for sweets and pornography? Check. Childhood? None. Feelings? None. That's all I know about him. What kind of friend am I? Why in Chan? Cora since I held my shoulder. I didn't even know I stopped resisting. Sorry. 
Etna, if this is all you're capable of, the organization will stop paying. It's not that I'm feeling for you, but from now on, you're on your own. Shiro started walking away with Etna still in pain. Shiro, Etna's tentacle. Shiro, Etna's tentacle was about to hit me, but was blocked by Koro Sensei. Then Etna blasted in speed, battling Koro Sensei, and I didn't see him anymore. Etna, I ran after him, not knowing where he'd go. My classmates tried to stop me from going, but I did not listen. Ritsu-san, can you track him? Ritsu appeared in my phone. So sorry, Wayan chan but I can't. I can show you the latest news. I sighed, but A nodded. string of attacks on cell phone shops throughout Kunigigaga. That must be him. I need to find him quickly and- Wayan, I've been looking everywhere for you. It was going too fast before I could even see who it was. I was already out cold. Wednesday, 9.15 p.m. Kungigaga Mountains. I only saw smoke. Smoke everywhere. Hearing guns fire, I feel cold. What's happening? <clears throat> Pressure radius to slow me down? That sounds like Koro Sensei. You really are a fool, Koro Sensei. I was grabbed by the neck. I tried struggling, but it was useless. I'm after Wayan and Ituna. Wayan Chan, it hurts. I'm in pain. I can't breathe. I Ituna? I tried to look for him, and once I did, I saw Koro Sensei protecting him. Thank goodness you're safe. Ituna's POV. <laughs> but why? Why would you? I was being saved by my so called classmates. Don't take this the wrong way. We're just ticked off at Shiro. If Koro Sensei and Wayne hadn't run off, we would have left you on your own. The girl with orange hair said. The nets melting my tentacles were painful. I feel so tired. Wayne's breathing in well. I looked at where the voice came from and saw the redhead holding Wayne in his arms. But I think it's better if we take her to the hospital. Wayne. Jurassic's group, season two. First I was brought to a ramen shop that sold disgusting ramen, and now the world keeps spinning after I rode that motorcycle with Yoshida. Your POV. I woke up hours ago. Itna, are you okay? That stupid Yoshida dropped me him off the motor, which earned him a bonk on the head. Uh oh, he's getting all twitchy, Yoshida said. Probably because Taraska called him down. No, it's the tentacles. He's going to flip out on us. I'm not like you. Fine with any old way. He growled, and I just stared at him unfazed while the others ran. I'll do it now. I'll kill him now, and victory will be mine. I walked towards Itana. Why in? My class shouted. Itana, I realized that I didn't really know anything about you, your life, and everything. But I do know this. He glared at me. I don't care what you were in the past. What matters is the present. After that, he shot a tentacle at me, and that's when all things turned black. Third person POV. Why in? Classy shouted, but the hair-colored girl was already knocked down, hitting a near tree. Bastard. Do you know how much Wyan cares for you? She's probably the only person who's cared for you so much. Or are you just too dense to realize you can kill the octopus? But not today. Not right now. Karma's group ran to Wyan, blood running down her forehead. Don't let a couple of losses throw you off course. All you gotta do is win. Someday. Not now, but someday. So I was being too hasty? <laughs> Taraska chuckled. I guess you were. Your lust have finally calmed down, Ichinokan. We can remove those painful tentacle cells now. In losing one great power, you gain many friends. <laughs> Koro Sensei said, Wait, where's Wayan? The group pointed to the car that had a blue and red sirens. Etona saw a hair colored girl on the stretcher being carried away unconscious. It's all my fault, isn't it? He muttered. I'll come with her to the hospital, Kaino said as she hopped on the ambulance. 
I'm ready. I'm sick of this power and this whole brothers thing too. The next day, Itana was still feeling guilty of what happened to Wyan, but also pretty confident. Kaino, son, can I ask you something? Itana stuttered, not to mention a blessing mess. Um, sure, I guess. He huffed some air and. How's Wyan and Sheila? Did she have a new ship from the dramas? I'm okay, Itana kun. Itana looked towards the door and saw Wyan with her forehead wrapped with bandages. <laughs> nice bandana, by the way. She giggled out, without the girl knowing, sending an awkward feeling towards Itana. There's, like, a bunch of butterflies in my stomach, he thought. C can I talk to you in private? The girl grabbed Itana's hand and ran to the forest. So, um, what do you want to talk about? The boy blushed. I'm sorry for what happened yesterday and last night. I was just too carried away in killing that octopus. I didn't care about your feelings. So, why and Ellen? I'm so sorry, 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 sorry. Itana was interrupted by a pair of soft lips. When he realized that he was being kissed, he slowly kissed back. No need to apologize, ne? Let's go. She blushed fifty shades. Yeah, he blushed furiously. I love you, Itana. I love you too. He mumbled. What? The girl teased. I said I love you too. He was now an exploding tomato. It says it says potato right here. That's pretty. They missed it up. It says hmm, exploding potato, not tomato. So. But the, the author meant tomato. I know she. Okay, whatever. Okay, um. Oh, she has an author's note. It says, Don't ask about the potato thing. I know it's tomato, but I like to make Sasha happy, so comment please. And then. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment in the description below if you would like me to, um, read the the spinoff of this well it's not a spinoff it's it's like another one it's called date <clears throat> but yeah i'd be more than happy to do that so um okay i hope you guys enjoyed goodbye loves countered fil finally make fixing and now the world keeps spinning after i wrote that minor 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 really